What's up guys? Here we have the, the Bonafide 127 rudder. Uh, I'm installing this because I am, uh, <clears throat> I'm sick of these things. And the title of this video is literally, I'm done with the flex wings. They seem to help some, but they are definitely not the answer to the problem. Um, they are just a band-aid. Um, so I've run these for, uh, I don't know, probably about three, maybe four years. No, four years. I've had these for four years. And uh, you know what they've been, you know what they've done the best for me? Uh, grab seaweed, grab uh, marsh grass, grab lily pads, and uh, cause me a heck of a lot of problems in paddle backs. Um, so <clears throat> this isn't a how-to, how to install the rudder system at all. Uh, this is really more of like, what am I doing and why am I doing it? A lot of you guys who are following my, my kayak build for the most part, um, you know why I've done what I've done. If not, go back and, and check out all my videos. Uh, but the end result here is this kayak needs steering. And I have struggled. Uh, I've looked at cheaper DIY options. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm going to be honest with you. This thing is pretty beefy. Uh, it is worth far more money than those 30 and 40 and $50 uh, uh, rudders that are on uh, Amazon. So I'm upgrading. Um, so a thought process in the future, you know, I've looked at motorized everything. I've got a motorized setup to put in my pod. Uh, but I think what I'm going to do, uh, seeing as this looks pretty easy to just remove the screw and change out this rudder, is um or just take the whole thing like the whole assembly i'm eventually going to go to a big speed or uh talk with the texas uh, power paddle i think is what it's called they have a rudder power system uh that i think would work great for uh especially the, the bona fide so i'm gonna contact them and see what i can figure out uh, if not the big speed is the answer they have this universal um uh, universal connection basically uh, but you have to sacrifice your rudder. So I'm thinking I'll just buy another rudder and put the Bixby on it and then I'll just swap them out as I want to. And that way the, uh, the, power, uh, the power bank for the Bixby or the Texas Power, uh, Texas power Paddle, whatever it's called, either way, um, it should essentially either fit under my seat in the junk drawer or just sit back here in the, in the back section. Uh, but I think both of them are better options than what I've been doing up till now. Um, I've got the, uh, the water snake and it's working. I mean, it works great. I, I actually just don't use it because the battery's so heavy. And if I'm going to spend the amount of money that it takes to get the, uh, the lithium ion or whatever, the, the high end lightweight batteries, then I might as well just step up to a Bixby system. Um, and, uh, you know, just reap the benefits of the entire package rather than trying to piecemeal something together. Um, as as the, most of you know, I, I try to go as budget friendly as possible. Uh, but if you know me well enough, you also know this, that at the end of the day, if, uh, if I think it forward and it's gonna actually cost more money in the long run, uh, and, and it seems like a subpar answer to my, what I'm trying to uh, fix, uh, the, the, the problem I'm trying to solve, and then I'll just go ahead and spend the money. Um, as with, you know, the Anchor Wizard. Um, uh, now there are some things. I do love the uh, manual. I gotta find it, where's it at? So I had to, I'm having to sacrifice my power, my, sorry, my Yak Gadget pole system. Um, but my thoughts and, and honestly, this just looks so good to me being just centered i don't know I, I just love this but what's probably about to happen is uh this it's probably going to be the rudder let me give you an idea and what i'm going to do here i'm not going to go through the full install of this at all so sorry there are a ton of great videos out there that i've watched um, that cover the install of this product but uh, 
so go check those out um but yeah so this i am either going to mount it like this and uh make it to where i can put a power pole on it if i need to i don't know i'm trying to figure that part out uh i want i love this um but there are a K, I love this honestly, because I got the pole option and I run the anchor in here. Um, so I don't know, I got a little bit to figure out, but, uh, but I definitely want to do this in mind that if I ever change my mind to do a power pole, I want to be able to bolt it up here and it'd be efficient. It'd be what it's supposed to be, right? Um, I see a lot of guys doing it. I mean, there's plates that mount here that, that, and I may do that. I, I don't know though. Uh, it's just, I don't want a bunch of bulky stuff back here. And also I love my anchor wizard uh, being, you know, in line. I think it would actually make this more, more efficient because it is pretty much a straight line. And uh, I mean, even if I, even if I did the pole this isn't gonna hit it. Um, I think it'll be great actually. So when it's stowed, it looks something like this. Yeah, but you get the idea. But I'm just, I'm done with the, uh, I'm done with the flex wings. I need some steering. Um, honestly, I've been on the verge of, of like wanting so badly to step up to a power, uh, sorry, a, a pedal kayak, but I just can't justify it. This is such a awesome platform to fish out of for me. Um, I, I've grown with it. Uh, it's grown with me. As you can see, I've got a lots of accessories. I kind of got it stripped down at the moment with my tools and everything laying across it, but I'm prepping to get this uh, install done. But, you know, it's definitely, um, this is an awesome kayak and I just hate the idea of stepping out of it into something else. Cause I just don't think there's anything out there better than this other than say like a, a PA 14. So, you know, and I, I, I'm sure a lot of you may argue with me about that, but I just, I've, I've got in jacks, the Jackson big rigs and things like that. I'm just telling you that what I'm able to, to do in this kayak and, and what I'm saying is the system, the system as a whole, I mean, this right here, right? And yes, there are others that do this, but they're missing something else that this thing has. When I sit in this kayak, everything is exactly where I need it. And I, I observe the other kayaks out there on the market and it's missing things, right? I, the way I have uh, basically learned to fish out of this, I can't reproduce in all kayaks, you know? And is there things that I wish this one had? Yeah, I wish I had a pedal drive. I wish I could upgrade to a pedal drive, but hey, that is what it is. Um, the um i added these you know i added some things obviously i had a lot of accessories that i didn't originally have i wish i had one of these i wish i had two in the front like uh, i think a hoodoo or maybe the the uh p127 i can't remember um but yeah um but at the same time what does this one have over others tons of track it's a track mount like i could put anything anywhere i want to um and it just fits me uh, I like the in-hole storage. I use it. Um, I've, I've upgraded. I've put the the, uh, the tub in there and things like that. Like I have a ton of accessories to fish this freshwater, saltwater, inshore, offshore, whatever I choose to do. It's all set up for it. So yeah. So now you see. Uh, I am. Uh, <laughs> I'm over these flex wings. I'm going to, I'm going to try it out for a while. I may come back and say, Hey, I was wrong, but I'm going to go without it. I'm going to put the rudder on it and I'm going to go without it. I think the rudder is the answer to the problem, not the flex wings. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll do a, an update when I get done with the rudder system and I'll let you know how things go. Uh, let you know if there are any issues. Um, yeah. Done with the flex wings. Looks like an airplane, doesn't it? <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs>